Hey guys, it's Scott. I hope you're all well and safe today. Thanks for joining me and welcome. Today we're going to dive into my top 10 designer fragrances for the colder winter and fall months. Let's start to list first with my honorable mentions. Up first on that list today is Jimmy Choo Man Intense. Jimmy Choo Man Intense has that beautiful melon with the tonka and patchouli. This is a very fruity and sweet, mass appealing fragrance. This scent works really well in the colder months, that transitional period from summer to fall. And I would say this fragrance is in the same category as the Mont Blanc Legend and Coach. And it's a beautiful bottle, it's a beautiful scent, and I think it has a great atomizer. And like I said, this is a mass appealing fragrance that I really love for this time of year. Another one of my honorable mentions is of course Ultra Male. It's got that juicy pear notes mixed with the lavender and right away you get that younger bubblegum vibe. There's cinnamon and vanilla along with that warming amber. The vanilla really helps make this a sweet scent. The juice performs very well on my skin. I'd say this is a great date night fragrance geared more towards the younger crowd but I still rock it anyways and it's a great scent if you're on the prowl or on the date. Ultra male. All right, well, let's dive in to our designer fragrances, our top 10. Those were two of my honorable mentions. And in no particular order, first fall and winter cold weather scent. And, and by the way, all tastes are gonna be different. Fragrances are subjective. Your journey is gonna be different than my journey. The way fragrances work in my skin is gonna be different how they work on your skin. Um, so let's try to be respectful. Let's try to be kind in the comments. Again, just because I like them doesn't mean you're going to like them. And again, these are my favorite for the fall and winter. So the first one we're going to talk about is the very hyped Mont Blanc Individuel. This is a very, very awesome gourmandish fragrance. It's got that uh, fresh out of the laundry kind of vibe going on with it. I really like it. I hear a lot of people say it's great for the office. I wear this whenever I want. I really enjoy it. It's got that uh, pineapple up front, the citrus, the orange blossom, but the star of the show, as you guys know, is the raspberry and the vanilla blended very well with the vanilla. There is a dark chocolate note listed. I can't smell that at all, but I do get where people are coming from with that fresh out of the laundry scent. It's a great, great scent, and I hope you guys enjoy it like I do. Again, it's a great office scent. Number two on the list is, of course, the Embroxen Bomb Dior Sauvage. This one is the compliment beast, guys. If you're looking to get compliments, this is it. My wife really loves this fragrance on me, and every once in a while, she sneaks and wears it herself. The performance on this fragrance is above average. Projection on my skin is above average. It's one of my favorite fragrances that I go to when I'm looking to get a lot of performance. Number three on the list is Dior Home. This one has got the lavender with that bergamot up top, but the star of the show in this one is the iris and that leather accord. For me, this is a very chic, luxurious, masculine, slightly woody fragrance. And, and it was a, on this fragrance, I want to spray it because I love it so much. Oh. This was love at first sniff, guys, and I think you'll enjoy it if you haven't tried it. Get your nose on this one. You'll thank me later. All right, number four on the list is Ideal Loam EDT. I really love this line, guys. There's so many of these I could talk about. I could talk about so many of the flankers of this Ideal Loam line. For me, this is an amazing gourmandish masterpiece. They've got that signature almond scent. The, it's got that amazing cherry coke vibe. And if some of you don't like sweet scents, then this is not for you. But this is the time of year where I graduate from the citrus freshies to the gourmand fragrances. And again, I love the cherry coke vibe in this fragrance. And I'd have to say it might be the favorite on my list. Yeah, guys, this is absolute favorite material right here. I'm going to be wearing the heck out of this one come these colder months. 
All right, number five on the list, guys, is CH Men Privé. This is an absolute, amazing, rich, luxurious fragrance. It's known for that boozy, masculine, sweet and sexy, flirty appeal. This fragrance, unfortunately, is, I love it so much, but it's very moderate projection on my skin, but it's one of my all-time favorites, guys. All right, number six on the list is YSL or Yves Saint Laurent La Nuit de L'Homme. And I know this is one of the fragrances that got Jeremy fragrance in the game. And I heard him talk about this one, to be honest with you, so I had to get my nose on it. And again, I hate to use this scent over and over, but it was love at first sniff for me. I love the way this one smells. Guys, let me give you a little disclaimer, a little rant if I may. For all you new guys, when you go to look at a scent to kind of see how it smells and then you go online and look at the reviews, my suggestion to you is to stay off Fragrantica. It can be a little bit helpful, but a lot of the notes aren't even listed on there. And I feel like Fragrantica is a place for trolls. It's where everyone goes to tell you how much your fragrance sucks or their fragrance sucks. There's a lot of unhappy people on there. And when it comes to fragrances, guys, your journey is going to be different, but you won't be able to take the journey unless you go out there and try these fragrances. I'm not saying you have to spend thousands of dollars to buy bottles of these, but at least get, at least test them out on your skin, get decants, smell them out in the department stores and see if you like them. And I suggest that when you spray them, spray them on your skin, walk around, test them out because they're going to be different for everybody. And I know people do not like this fragrance because it doesn't last long. Everybody talks about reformulations, but for me guys, this fragrance is a winner. I love this scent. I like it when my wife gets close to me out with this scent. It's cozy. It's a beautiful scent. It's got that lavender. It's got that woody scent. It makes me feel masculine. It makes me feel like I'm going out and I'm going to have a good time. And you know, even though the, per the um, performance might be a little weak, there's enough performance in this fragrance to get the job done on the date, guys. And at the end of the day, that's all we really need. All right, number seven, one of my new favorites that I just got a hold of, Spice Bomb. Guys, what can I say about this one? First of all, look at that bottle. Really cool, really masculine looking. And to spray this one, guys, you got to pull the pin, which is really awesome. Um, this is a really cool get for me. I love the way this smells, guys. This is fun and flirty. I know I've already said that for some of the other fragrances, but it's got that chili, that saffron, cinnamon, the masculine leather and tobacco, and it's got a little bit of that freshness with the grapefruit and pink pepper. It's above average performance, above average projection, and again, I love the presentation of the bottle. This one's a little on the expensive side. It's hard to find these cheap, but you can with a little, doing a little bit of homework. So guys, I highly suggest getting Spice Bomb. And to be honest with you, this is even not my favorite, and I do love this. My favorite is Spice Bomb Night Vision. I just recently got my nose on the Parfum. Ugh, I can't wait to buy a bottle of that, guys, and to uh, review that for you as well. All right, number eight. You guys know how I love my Gourmand fragrances. Boss Bottle Intense. And yes, I'm gonna spray this one. Woo! Dessert in a bottle, guys. This is gourmandish, fun, playful scent. You guys already know about this one. It's super hyped. Everybody talks about it. It's got that clove, cinnamon, apples. Holy sweet apple pie, guys. This fragrance is amazing. I know you're gonna love it. I love it. My wife loves the one, way this one smells and it works really well in that cold weather. It just reminds me of Thanksgiving day, having dessert after that big meal. It's like a, it's got that feeling when you eat comfort food. When I wear this fragrance, I smile, I feel comforted by it. So I highly suggest you get Boss Bottled Intense. <laughs> All right, number nine, another fun bottle, another great presentation like Spice Bomb, Azaro Wanted by Night. Out of all the fragrances on this list, and even though there was a lot of other fragrances I could have included on this list, this is probably my least favorite, but I do love it. And I, and I do think you should buy it. It's a cinnamon bomb. It's mass appealing. It's got a bubble gumish kind of sweetness to it up top. There is in the notes listed a tobacco. Guys, I don't smell that at all. 
I just smell that sweet bubblegum scent along with that cinnamon. I guess in a way you could say it's like cinnamon gum. It's very light on projection, very light on performance, unfortunately, but it is a fun fragrance and I do get compliments when I wear it. It's one of those ones that I gotta spray a lot, over apply, but I don't mind doing that because guys, really, how hard is it to do this again after a couple hours? It's not that hard, so I don't, ah, I love that cinnamon, cinnamon gum smell, guys. Very, very cool fragrance, very cool bottle. I highly suggest getting this one, and for the price, it's, it'll run you around 30 bucks, guys, to pull the trigger on this one. It's worth getting to have in your collection just for the bottle alone. All right, last but not least, finally, Dolce & Gabbana, the one EDT. And I know there's a lot of flankers of this one. I know there's the Parfum. I know there's Intense. But as of right now, I have the EDT. And guys, love this fragrance. Bergamot, cardamom, very masculine with the cedar and tobacco. It's got a bit of a gourmandish amber, very warming on the skin. I love the way this one performs. It performs very well. I'd say it's moderate to above average projection, maybe four to six hours of performance. And I love the bottle. I love the color of the juice. It just reminds me of fall. And it's a really, really, really fun fragrance, guys. Hey, hey guys, look who it is. Hey, Adam, how are Hi. you? Hey, everyone, this is my son. He just walked into the room. Adam, do you love fragrances like me? Tell everybody out there that you love fragrances. I like them really much. Yeah, they're fun. What's your, which, which one's your favorite? One million. You like one million? Do you want to go grab that one really quick and we'll talk about it? Yeah. All right, guys, here he is. Adam's back. Adam, show everybody that one million bottle. Isn't that a cool bottle? It's a cool presentation, right? Mm -hmm. This is, you know, believe it or not, this fits in with what I'm talking about because today I'm talking about fall and winter fragrances and fragrances that work well in the cold weather. And this one works really good in the cold weather because it's really sweet, right? Why do you like this one? Because of how sweet it is, but what you like it because of it looks like a gold bar, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is one you like to steal from me and spray before we go to church, right? All right, thanks Adam for joining me. Bye. Anyways, that was my son. He just happened to come in the room and he loves this fragrance here. This didn't make my honorable mentions, but it definitely is a great cold weather scent, guys. So thank you so much for joining me today. Um, I appreciate you joining me on my journey. Those were my top 10 designer fragrances. And as always guys, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. Hey, let me know down in the comments what I left out. What you could suggest to me that's a good fall and winter scent as far as designers go. I'm eventually gonna do a video on niche fragrances and indie fragrances and talk a little bit more about that. Um, but let me know in the comments what you guys like, what your top 10 favorite list is, or what you suggest I try um, for fall and winter, or let me know in the comments what I could do as far as reviews go for next time. Anyways, like always guys, I appreciate you guys joining me. I hope you guys stay safe. And remember to always be yourself as long as yourself smells good. Ciao.